Hi guys, just another video for you. This time with a different design. Still going ahead with acrylic. And this is the design here. So it's just some 3D roses. So I'm just coming in with small beads of acrylic. I'm using the CJP number 2 brush again because this is an ideal size. So we're just coming in at the back of the beads and patting it down gently. Making it into a C shape. And then again, gently press down the back of the bead to make it more petal looking. So I'll just continue and add on um, another bead of acrylic. Again, making it into sort of a C shape. And then coming in at the back of that and gently patting down. Now you don't want to use too much pressure. Um, you don't need a lot of pressure at all in doing these. So I'll just continue to work around in a circle, add in small beads until I'm happy with the, the finished flower. You can bring bits up like I am here just to make it stand out from the nail more. You don't want it to be too flat. Now, as you're working around, you'll start using smaller beads of acrylic. Sorry, I've went out with a shot here. And when you're picking up your beads, you don't want them to be too wet. Because um, if they're too wet, they're just going to slide all over your nail. So just drain the back of the bead slightly before you pop it onto the nail. I've just kept this um, design simple, but you can use two tone. Um, so basically, picking up two different colours in the one bead and putting it onto the nail. But this is just a beginner one, so we'll keep it simple. And you can make these flowers as big as you like or as small as you like. So I think one more bead will finish this petal off, which will be a very small bead, as you can see. And this is that flower complete. So I'm just going to add on another flower. Just to the side here, just basically doing the same steps again, but using smaller beads of acrylic to start with this time. And coming out the back of the beads and gently patting down. It's quite nice using this brush because it leaves indentations in the acrylic, which makes it more realistic looking. Thank you. 
Sorry, my name's short again. If you don't feel like your petals are big enough, you always you can always come in at the end and just add on some more. Sometimes I make mine a bit flat. Out of focus, sorry guys. So I'm going to add on another one in the top corner here. Again, just using the same steps as before. You can add on as many or as little flowers as you like, it's up to you, it's your design. I just thought three would be plenty for this one. Sorry, I'm going to show again. It's quite hard trying to get your hands right when you've got a camera right in front of you. But you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing. So this is this one nearly complete. So just checking the design to make sure I'm happy but I'm not happy with the second flower I've done so I'm just going to come in like I said before with another bit of acrylic just to add to what's already there. So basically you just pop your bead down, manoeuvre it a little bit and then come in and flatten it down just like you would before. brings it out from the nail more. And once you're happy with your flowers you can come in and add on gems, um, gel design which I'm going to do just now. So this is just a simple gel design using a fine liner brush. Just simple strokes. And then I'll pop it into Flash Cure, just into the lamp. And again, coming back in with my fine liner and adding some more strokes. So I didn't think this was enough, so I'm going to come in with my dotting tool and just add on some dots. Just very easy design. I just thought these made it pop a little bit more.
and that's the design complete. I hope you like it, and thank you very much for watching my video. Bye, guys.